All right, today we are actually fishing with Lake Fort Guy. Haven't fished with him in a while. I want you guys to do me a favor though, before we get into this, I am like 2,000 away from it 100K on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go, go find me on Instagram, Lunkers TV. Help me get to that 100K. Just do me a solid, go follow me on there. I mean, you, you watch me anyway, right? And we're not using my boat today, we're using this one. Yeah, just old red. And you still haven't got the entire wrap off, it's kind of there. Dude, I'm rocking the quarter wrap. <laughs> Oh yeah, my boat's going to be going in on Frodis today. Today is Thursday. Today's Thursday. My boat's going in tomorrow to get wrapped pink. Oh, yeah, Justin actually just made a comment to his on his camera. Is He said a lot of people don't realize why we don't fish together. Well, we do. Texas is kind of big. He lives in the south side of Texas, and I live in the north side of Texas. He did just make the statement that Texas is the size of France. I wonder if that's a true statement. It could be. But... We're going to be start, starting the day off. We're going to be looking for uh, that frog bite. I've never fished this lake. It's just outside of Waco. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember the name of it. I think it's like it's like Tom something or something like that. But he says it's got a frog bite. So this, is kind of, this is what it looks like. All right, that kind of stuff. So we go from fishing grass yesterday to flipping reeds and more grass today. So we shall see how it goes. All right, so this is what I'm so he's throwing out what he's throwing a buzz toad, it looked like. A little buzz toad, yep. And I got this little deal. Let's see if anything wants a bite. Looks pretty good. I've been. Here we go. Yep. Oh. I when I said that. It's right on the edges of the grass where he just threw. Took me, took, nah, it took me under. He's about to clean it up. So after Justin lost his fish, I'm switching over to the, uh, the old top toad. Stop it, let it float. Kind of the same deals, somewhat, he was using, but, uh, just a little bit bigger presentation. Got him. Got him. Yeah, we got him that time. Come on, stay pinned. Yeah, this stuff is thick. Come on. He's on. There we go. It's a lettuce fish if I've ever seen one. This is a lettuce fish. Well, the frog is gone, but guess what? <laughs> nice. Double pin, dude. Look at that. He was out. he was not coming off. He was not coming off. That thing is on there. Holy crap. Here we go. First fish that's been landed. How about that? Yeah. We've we've hooked up he's hooked up to a couple, but that's the first one that's been in the boat. <sighs> oh, there you are. There there it is. Come here, frog. I'm lose that top toe. They're expensive. Oh. oh, I bet you I couldn't have done that twice. That fish was freaking. Oh, oh my god. Go, oh my gosh. What the crap, dude? He took the frog. He took it? He took my frog. How did he take it? He ripped my frog completely off. And now look at this jumble mess I have here. Gosh dang. <laughs> All right, I got to fix this mess. That was three in a row, three blow ups in a row in the same little vicinity all right they want moving bait yeah no, they want no they question. want a moving bait that was the first time i've ever had a fish take one of these frogs off and not even connect with the hook dude they're oh they're all through that grass all the way into the back come on come on got him, Get him. <laughs> finally <laughs> finally we've been i've been dude that guy hit it like 20 times i've been messing with this little bass for a while now dude nice thank god just sucked it finally i've been waiting on you that is a nebraska brute ladies and gentlemen nebraska bruiser <sighs> hashtag clearfish <laughs> yeah Ooh, i got him yeah. Come on, get out of there. Get him out, dude. Out of there. Right, keep your head up. There we go. Look at all that grass that's yeah, on him. Yeah. See him spinning? <laughs> oh, there we go. Another two ski. 
And I am killing it. If we were on fork doing a tournament, I think I'd be killing with a slot, huh? Or no? I'd be the slot king right now. All right, another one. They're munching, they're still munching. The light's coming up, or sun's coming up, excuse me. The light's coming up. This, uh, this little battle wound from the woods the other day is really, uh, it's really healing quite well, let me tell you what. Justin just had one come up and completely blow up, and it looked, I mean, look at that. God, he just, just took a leg, he just, chomped. And he just ruined your, ruined your bait, that's all he did. Dude, that's, <laughs> that's twice they've done that to us in spaghetti mode up here like Rob. I think I got your leg. So when you come to a new lake, it's kind of like, sometimes it can be a real struggle to figure out what these fish want. Oops, sorry, man. Got him. Dude, I got my clean up. My clean up, bro. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Oh, you get Bunker. in the boat. Is it done? Hey, that's a little better one right there. Oh, uh, when I mean he wanted it, look at that. Like, dude, he, he absolutely did. Crushed it. The bad thing is, is I don't have any more of that color. Oh, just kidding. It's floating in the water. Rob's throwing the, uh, the top tail. Uh, there we go. They're hitting both, but they seem to be connecting on his. <laughs> bite him in the face. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to pop one here in a second. You are, dude. Oh! <laughs> what are the chances that happens? Get him out, get him out. I am. Oh, come on, get out of there, dude! If you don't have the right gear for fishing this kind of stuff, you are gonna break everything. Is he still hooked up? I can't even see. Uh, kind of small. Uh, Oh, he's in there. <laughs> he is in there. Look at that. That is a. That's a grass fish. That is what I call a grass fish right there. Jeez, there's more grass than fish. Well, we got something figured out. Me and Justin were just talking about how we're kind of shocked that the bite is still that good right now, on topwater wise, because the sun, as you guys can tell, is is up quite a bit. Keep tossing it until they stop. No need to fix what's not broken, right? Not once. And it's easy because you know you know which clips are fish clips and because it saves them in five minute segments. Oh, oh, oh there! Oh, oh, my gosh. oh my god! You did it! Oh, oh that is a, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh that is a big fish. Oh that is a giant fish. Oh, oh my gosh, Rob! That is a biggest fish I've ever seen out here. Oh my gosh. Dude, grab him. Whoo! Oh my gosh. I'm on Justin. Come on. You got him? Oh yes, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> that is a <laughs> yes. oh look at that fish, dude! Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that is a bucket mouth! I think that might be a, like a 10, dude. Dude, there we go. Yes. That is why we fish right there. Oh, my God, dude. Woo. <laughs> yes. Dude. dude, I'm so happy right now. That is amazing. And it's on a frog. That is amazing. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to dip him in the water. You got a scale? Yeah. Woo. Stick this beast in the live well for a minute. We got to find a, a scale because this could possibly be my PB. Possibly. Oh, that is a giant fish, dude. Yes, yes. Oh, all, oh, all. Oh, what does it come on? Of all things, a frog and some lettuce. There we go. Oh, it's been a good, great morning so far. Great morning. All right, we kept that fish in the live well. It's gonna sit in there for a minute. Uh, we don't have a scale on the boat and it could possibly be my double digit. I've been searching for a double digit. I've never had one and it's I, it's big enough to where I'm going to keep it in the boat to go get a scale and weigh it. Justin might have one inside of his truck, so. Worth doing. We're, well, well worth doing. It'll it'll be good. We got the circ running, so. It's plenty active. I just reached my hand in there a second ago and it's, it's not too happy that it's sitting in a live wall, I'll tell you what. But if you guys just saw, you guys saw it missed it the first time and I just stopped the frog completely and he came back and just inhaled like, you know it's a big fish when they don't make a big noise and they just, all you hear is the water just being engulfed in that big bucket mouth. I was so Whew. big, I thought it was like a carp. <laughs> I was like, dude, did he snag a carp? Hot. Love bass fishing, you just never know what the hell you're gonna get. All right, so if you guys wanna know which frog I am using, check the description, I will link it for you guys, the frog and the hook. I'll put it at the top. I know a lot of people wanna know what kind of baits we're using. 
go ahead and check it out. It'll be in the description for you. I normally don't do this, but today is a very good day and I'm really enjoying myself out here. So go check it out. Oh, that's a rip. Oh, got him. You got him? Yeah. Oh, is it a good one? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you got him. There you go. Golly, dude, there you go. You, you just broke the ice. Whoa. That's a good fish. That's better than the average one. So this little grass line has, has caught a giant fish and a better than average one. Yeah. Slurpee. There you go, dude. There we go. Guys, they're supercharged. This is fun. Oh. Fishing grass in the fall with topwater baits. It's like nothing beats that. Oh. Okay, so we're about to hop off water just like i said a second ago rackley thinks that he left a scale inside of his truck uh, i i know this fish is at least nine pounds if i, if I was going to be a gambler man i would say it's at least nine but i've never caught anything over nine and a half so that's what we're hoping for is that nine and a half marker to be breached so we can have a new pb all right this is the moment of truth oh gosh no. you think you got one you got a really big pelican case i'll give you that yeah box number one's a no-go I will make a trip into town if, if need be. For a boga grip somewhere. Oh man. This is spot number two. Bad news. No scale. I'm probably gonna have to, I'm gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna find out if there's a Walmart close by. Ah, the time that you don't have a scale, you really need one. That kind of sucks. The man is back. Yep. <sighs> Short little interlude. Contested. Take a gander here. That's a, that's a head. That's a mad, mad fish. That is a dude. That thing has been knocking around there to the left. Like it's just straight up. Ooh, he, just, Woo! he just got your butt. <laughs> oh, my. oh! Look at that. Look at the mouth on that thing. That's true. Look at this. Oh! Dude, all right, no, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I here we go. Good. You ready? Hold him. Oh. Is it touching oh, it? Oh, it hit 10. Did it? Yes, it hit 10. Oh my gosh, it hit 10. <laughs> that hit 10 and bounced right back to 915. Do we want to call that a 10 pounder or what? I, I'm gonna, you know that what? Is it was a 10 when you caught it because it lost some water. I just caught my first double digit. That hit 10. That is a 10 pounder right there. Yes! <laughs> My first double digit fish. New PB right there. Got a boy. 10 pounder. Yeah, I bet you it was like 10.02 when you caught it because they lose some water weight. Do they? Yeah. That was. So. There we go. How about that, brother? He's got, a, he's got my first double digit fish. <laughs> Look at that. Oh! <laughs> That's a toad. That's that a donkey. Is, oh, it's so big. Thank God my GoPro just took a dump on me, too. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. You took your GoPro out, but. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly 10 pounds. What are, what, who, what are the chances of that? See ya, honey. <sighs> yes. Exactly. Thank you to my man, Justin Rackley, for coming out with me today. Boom. We just, like, like he said when he came here, he had no clue about this lake either. I have never been here. He's been here one time. One time. One time. Went to the only grass area he knew, started throwing some frogs. He'll be down below. You guys know who he is. Go follow him. He's an awesome guy. Really, really humble and nice, nice guy. Oh, we just caught a double digit. <sighs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. Feels good to get that uh, life milestone out of the way. Me and Mr. Rackley are going to flip for a little bit in these reeds and see if we can link up with any more good fish. Okay. Could go... Oh, there you go. Yeah, you swam out with it, man. Totally swam out with it. Little, All right, two yep, that was a two pounder. Really? Yeah, that's another thing is we, we chose this lake because like he lives way South Texas and I live in North Texas and he, we just, he just split the difference and picked a random lake. That's kind of how we ended up here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was hilarious. Holy crap, that fish is mad. Oh, that was hilarious. I don't know, I really hope I just have uh, Rackley setting the hook and slinging his uh <laughs> i just switched to a three quarter out so I, I was like that thing's coming back out. yeah that thing just slung at us we're gonna be flipping these reeds for a little bit and later on we're gonna head back over to some of those grass areas we're kind of hoping that uh that that late evening no excuse me early evening bite kicks back on that's that's the whole goal here just flip until then kind of waste time and chill that's funny we were just actually talking about that 
Ooh, there you go. Man, that kind of make, makes me want to go throw. We're right now we're fishing like this riprap. I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of his videos explaining little square bill on rocks. I think I'm gonna get on that that little pattern. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Whoa, that's his setup. He's got like a little crazy setup. I'm gonna go hook up a little one on one at 1.5. You got an extra one? You wanna toss my way? Let's look in here. Shallow cranking, huh? I bet you it's that box. Yeah. Right, let's see here. If it was me, let me know which one you guys would choose. Because, oh man, there's so many good colors in here. Let's go with this one. This one's pretty out of sharp. Sexodocious. Yeah, this this one looks pretty good. Kill a rat. That's fish. Right at the boat. Look at that. You got him double. Um, we go from 10 pounders to Nebraska brutes. That is something you don't see very often. Oh, uh, that's pretty. Look at that. Your 10 pounders this morning could have. Could have probably eaten that. Slurped that one like <laughs> chicken nugget. Oh, were, I wasn't looking for like fish. fish. Good one? Yeah. Then on that fluke. Ooh. Ooh, wow, he swiped at it, didn't he? Yeah. Super swiped. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. That is a swipe if I've ever seen one. Just a little. Ooh, just a little bit of it. I'm a hook on that. The excursion out here was a very good time, I'll tell you what. Well, as you can tell, we are off the water. Mr. Rackley, he'll be linked below. He's a great guy. Go check him out. If you guys don't know what he is, he's been on YouTube for about... Pretty long time. Really long time. Probably longer than some of you guys have been alive. <laughs> like a, he's been on YouTube a very long time. I, I used to watch him when I was trying to learn how to fish. A lot of stuff I learned from this this man right here. He's a Texas boy. It's uh, like I said earlier, we fished a lake that I've never fished. He's fished one time, and we linking up with the double digit for my first time is absolutely insane. And I'm really glad I got to do it. Um, it's on a frog too. Like who doesn't want to watch a giant <laughs> fish blow up on a frog? That's it, dude. That's, That's as good as you can that, get. You right can't there. you can't beat that. So anyway, if you guys want to know about the rods I'm using, the rod I was using was that that Defender Series rod, the American flag one, which is my favorite rod. Like literally, check the description and uh, go follow him. Other than that, check me out. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.